to the Arcane POS VBPOS Chipper mobile integration tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about how to integrate your mobile device directly with your VBPOS Chipper, and then how to proceed through checkout on your WooCommerce store. First thing you're gonna need is your mobile device, whether it's an Android or iOS, and then your VBPOS Chipper device. Go ahead and turn on your VBPOS Chipper device by pressing and holding the power button, and it'll start flashing. Follow the instructions that your device tells you to for pairing a Bluetooth device. First thing typically is swiping down from the top and then pressing the Bluetooth option to turn it on. Then press and hold to scan. And typically from there, you'll see the devices that will pop up nearby. The device that you will be pairing with is going to be labeled by the serial number on the bottom left corner of the bottom of the device. So flip it over and read that. You'll see it's appeared here right at the top of my list, so I've clicked and paired that. And now the next few steps are actually done on the device itself, so we'll stop this and we'll switch over to the screen. If you are having trouble with the Bluetooth setup, proceed using the instructions on our website. When the mobile application loads for the first time, it will automatically load into the settings panel. Because we've previously set this up, we have to click the hamburger menu to access settings. From within the settings panel, you will notice a number of fields. The website domain field corresponds to your WooCommerce website domain with subdomain. It is not a URL, so HTTP and HTTPS should not be included. The WordPress email and WordPress password corresponds to authorized users from within your WooCommerce website. That would be an admin, a shop manager, or a cashier. Within our cloud service, this is going to be a licensed user. Within our Pro Services plugin solutions, this will also be a licensed user. Again, it must be of the proper role in that case. If you are using either the Cloud solution or the Pro Services solution, an Arcane registration code can be pasted optionally here in order to ensure that the users who are accessing your website are authorized to do so. You can find your registration code within your email or your Arcane account. Access to this application and all of its functionality is completely independent of the registration code. Having it or not having it will make no difference. In order to switch between test mode and live mode, you can hit the toggle at the bottom that was just selected. Once you do so, you will be requested to restart the device. This is to ensure that you are not continuing a process on live while in attempting a test mode or otherwise. To access your registration code, as aforementioned, you can click that green button to access our store. From here, you can then log in and access your My Subscriptions panel in order to gain a registration code access. We will bypass that because of security purposes and click the Save Settings button, which will save this account. Now that the account has been saved, the store is completely set up and all of your products will automatically load. If they do not load at first, you can close the application and reload it to get all of the uh, products loaded into cache. The first option you'll see there is the ability to add a custom line item, which allows you to enter a custom price, which you then can, can click add to list in order to load it up to the panel. From here, you can then hit the add to cart button to add it to your cart. The items below custom products include simple products and variable products. From here, you can select select variants to select one of your sub variants of a variable product or you can click add to cart for a simple product. Here we've added three items to a cart. You can remove them by hitting the X or you can add or subtract items from the main screen using the plus or minus icons. To proceed through checkout, you'll notice that there is an option for shipping in order and that billing information can be copied to your shipping order as well. The billing information is by default empty as it is not needed. The plugin or the cloud solution will automatically pull in your shops location as default billing information. To proceed, click Process Card. From here, you'll receive two options, Card Present and Manual Entry. Click Card Present and proceed through the buttons that will allow you to select your reader, connect your reader, and make a payment. The on-screen prompts will tell you when to swipe and remove your card, and once it is completed, it will notify you that the charge has been completed. If the charge times out, because of a 60 second delay or the charge is canceled because of a declined card or otherwise, it will notify you on screen. That concludes the process for proceeding through checkout. 
You can also cover Discover Readers by selecting the hamburger menu and selecting Discover Readers on the left. From there, you can click Disconnect to disconnect your reader and Discover to rediscover that reader. Click on the serial code to reconnect, and that is how that is done. The settings panel can also be accessed from the left navigation. We'll re-enable the test mode uh, or production mode rather, and then uh, we will show you what that looks like to go through a checkout with a cash transaction. This is a manual entry transaction. And this is a cash transaction. Once completed, the order is marked done. Thank you.